You're live with Lucy Hawkins on BBC World News. Emergency measures as Omicron surges. France banning non-essential travel to and from the UK amid record cases in Britain. Babies and children are rescued from the floodwaters in the Philippines as one of the strongest typhoons of the year batters the southern coastline. Horror in Tasmania, five children are killed when an inflatable bouncy castle is swept up by a gust of wind. Young children on a, a fun day out together with their families and it turns to such horrific tragedy. At this time of year, it just breaks your heart. The US braces itself for more bad weather in the wake of the Kentucky tornadoes. This time, the warning is for dust storms, high wind and snowstorms across several states. In the next half hour, we'll be live in Paris, New York and Seoul. Omicron has continued to spread around the world. 78 countries now recording the new variant. Poland, the latest. Many governments scrambling to reimpose travel restrictions. They're trying to stem the spread. And it's France that has announced some pretty dramatic ones too, only allowing essential travel from the United Kingdom as infections linked to Omicron surge here in Britain. Let's show you the latest figures from here. Uh, the UK recording COVID infections are of the highest daily level since the beginning of the pandemic. More than 70 8,000 total cases reported on Wednesday. South Korea also saying it will reinstate stricter social distancing rules on January the 2nd, just six weeks after easing them. The number of new infections and serious cases spiraling there too. As Louisa Pilbeam now reports.